वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लेवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव सक्सेसफुली सेंड एन ईमेल विद दिस मार्कडाउन बट नाउ वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ टोकन सेव दैट टोकन ऑन आर पासवर्ड रीसेट टेबल सो इफ आई गो टू डेटा बेस एंड पासवर्ड रीसेट टेबल वी हैव वी हैव टू मेक श्योर वी गेट द टोकन हेयर ई मेल एंड क्रिएटेड एट देन वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्टली फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट let's go to back end and we have this controller that is reset password controller while we are sending the email we need to create the token so yes i will say token is equal to this arrow create so create token and this is the function we need to create create a token let's create a function so public function create token and how this is going to create the token it's very easy so here i will say token is equal to str underscore random having 60 characters okay so this is done but when we get the token we need to save that to our password reset table so let's go and i will say this arrow save token let's create another function so when we are using this function so we have to pass the token so let's create public function save token and now we need to accept token here and then we are not going to use eloquent model because we don't have the model for this password reset table so why not use db connection so db colon colon table and our table name is this one so copy that from here paste it and now i will say insert in insert part we have to say email is actually the email of the user so why not use that uh, accept that email so email then token give the token and the last thing is created underscore at so let's use carbon for that so carbon now whenever this sends then it will have here and it's giving error because we need to wrap this all inside the parenthesis and done so whenever we are creating oh, where, where is that whenever we are sending email we are creating the token we are creating the token and then we are saving that token here on the database but the important thing is that what if user has given one more email like this he will give the email so if i say send email we should get the result here so send email and we have some kind of error it says too few argument on save token yeah on the save token we have to pass the email also so maybe 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 here we need to pass email from here accept email here pass email here let's refresh here lots of here here so send and it's a pending request but it will fulfill as this time passes yes we have this yes we have the email but on our database if i refresh this table yeah we have these things with the token but what if as i have told you what if user has given one more request this time obviously email sends but the problem is we get another request here two token for one account reset so why not do one thing when we are creating the token like here so firstly let's grab if there is a old token so old token uh, not yokan <laughs> is equal to again we will use the db db then table table is again same password reset and here let's say where email is the email we have and get the first one okay what this will do so we have to check if we have the old token then we are going to return that old token 
otherwise if this is not true then we will going to return the token we have created so it's like firstly we will check if there is already any token if that is true then just return the old token otherwise create the one save that on the database and then return that so it's super easy and that's why we are getting the token and then we have to pass that token to our me label reset password me label but what this will do when we pass that we can accept here so token is like dollar this arrow token is equal to dollar token and let's now define it so public token is here so now with this markdown we can say with token token and that should be inside like array so is equal to dollar this arrow token easy so yeah looking nice so now we can accept that token on our mailable blade file here and this button actually this button is the one we have here button text so instead of button text i will say reset password and in this reset password we have to say front end url and that is http colon colon localhost colon 4200 and then we have to land on our front end response reset page which is this one so let's go to app routing module and yes we have this response password reset so this is the path and paste it here and now after that i will give a query parameter which will be token is whatever the token we are passing through our reset password mail like this this one okay that's nice so here we are doing everything good and let's say here introduction is uh, change password request there is a request for changing the password and click on the uh, button below to change password that's great so save this and now I will go to my Chrome and here I will pass send password reset email and on the network tab this is pending and one two three and now you we can see we have this reset password mail click here and click on reset password and yes you can see we land on this response reset uh, component and we have the token we have for the reset password we just have to grab this and give user a form to provide the email the password and password reset thing so let's now go to vs code and here the response reset we have this reset works but instead of this i'm going to have a form where user can enter password confirm password and email so let's grab everything from login component copy that the html part of login paste it here and this will be reset password so reset password then we have this login form so it's not login form it's reset password form and now change that disable part and let's say change password and we don't need sign up simple one no need for any type of reset yeah that's good and it says reset password sometimes kind of problem we have column two in okay maybe we have some problem here we are getting this because we don't need this hash here and in that way it will refresh and show us something 
so you can see we are getting these things but let's do one thing we have this error but i don't want this error to be here instead i will open component that means response reset component file component.ts and i will create a public variable called error and make it a array so this will be nice and then we have this email that's okay so form dot email that means we need a form so public form is email is null initially then password is null initially then confirmation of password so confirm password or we can use password underscore confirmation which is also null and the important thing reset token we have to get this one also so these things are good but how we can get the reset token because our token is inside query parameter oh it's gone okay so how we can do that so let's firstly do one thing we have to grab a new service called uh, private and I will call it route which is activated route so activated route is here which is already imported at the top here so now in the constructor I will say route dot query parameter so query params dot subscribe and here I will say params and arrow function and this dot form dot reset token is equal to params and the token so in that way whenever this uh, component loads then this code will set the reset token here so let's now verify this so once again I will click here and we should get this one so how we can check that we are getting this or not so I we have opened email so to check that I will do one thing just echo out echo out PHP world just show here form dot reset token to see whether we are getting these things or not and yes you can see we have this token so everything is working absolutely fine and now next part is we have the password we need another field for confirm password so let's say confirm the password and for something like this name is password underscore confirmation and same thing will come here form dot password confirmation placeholder is confirm password id is for something anything and then we have all these things change password everything is set up so let's now see which is looking absolutely nice so if I give bitfumes here a new password is uh, secret and secret word here also and now if I click on this change password we should expect something that means the on submit part so let's create an on submit method here so on submit a method what we are going to do here here we will use the Jarvis so Jarvis and we need to import Jarvis first so private Jarvis is a Jarvis um, service I think this has to be W so Jarvis why Jarvis is not here come on it's loading okay this problem with my VS code as usual so let's refresh it so now let's try Jarvis service yeah great get it so Jarvis service is here and now we will say Jarvis okay my ding dong ding so this dot Jarvis dot change password we need to create this one and we need to 
pass this dot form here dot subscribe and on the subscribe part we will have two things the data so this dot handle response and pass out the data and error we have so this dot handle error and pass out error so these fields are we have done but we don't have handle response so handle response accepting the data then handle error accepting the error with a two error r only and we don't have any change password on our jarvis service so let's create that so on this jarvis service we have these things so similarly we need to send a jex an ajax request for change password this dot post base url change password not send password reset link so why not call it reset password so open api.php and here let's create another route and i will call it reset password and i think we have created another controller if not we need to create that okay we don't have so let's create a controller open terminal for the backend so php artisan and make controller change password controller done so we have created that and it's change change password change password controller change password controller yeah good and this will be like process so these things we have done and next is we will do the backend part and actually check if the token is valid we will change the password otherwise we will give error that okay we don't have some problem so this is also done and if you have not subscribed please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called level we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye